Hello, my name is Sarah and this is Green Lady Permaculture. Today I want to talk about a topic that is really hard to talk about and I have a tendency of rambling when I'm trying to explain things that I'm uncomfortable with. So I'm going to try and be very straightforward here and explain the basics. There's going to be a lot of people who don't want to watch this video and that's okay. Sorry, I got a blue jay. This is one of the ones that brings me things. There we go. Anyway, that was one of the uh, blue jays who brings me stuff. There's probably a rock over on top of there and I'll check in a little bit. I'm trying to put my mind around the idea that I have to butcher a Muscovy duck, two of them today, for the first time. I have been going through this mentality since we got them. I knew it was going to happen because I was pretty sure from the start that I did not want white drakes. Um, I ended up with um, a couple of bronze and um, out of the batch that I was raising up from them being little, but the two eldest that I got to start, I was pretty sure they were drakes and they were. So since I don't want those, excuse me, sitting on the ground here and there's some, let me pull this out. There's some comfrey that was poking me. Anyway, put that aside for the ducks. So I get a lot of those questions that people, how can you do this? Well, I'm gonna tell you how I can do this. This is how I prepare myself mentally for going in and killing an animal for food. Now there's gonna be three words you're gonna hear me use, technically four, um, kill, call, and process. They all mean the same thing. Um, the fourth is something I have a tendency of saying, and some people won't approve, um, but when I'm going out to do a large batch of rabbits or ducks or quail like I used to do, um, I have a tendency of using the word murderize <laughs> and it's um it's it's a block for me because sometimes i do have to i use humor as a deflection sometimes um when i'm nervous and i have a tendency to babble so i'm doing right now um but so sometimes i will use the word murderize around my family um like i have to go murderize some bunnies and usually that's time when i'm having to do it. I don't want to do it, but Merlin needs to eat. So there's those. Um, if I ever say that and it offends you, I'm sorry. It's not meant to offend. Um, but processing for meat, it's either you're going to, if you're an omnivore, you're either going to purchase meat from the store into like in a plastic container, sanitized, cleaned, possibly boneless, skinless, blah, 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 has no face. You wouldn't know unless you knew you were eating chicken or somebody had told you you were eating chicken and showed you a picture. If you'd never seen a chicken, you wouldn't know its face. Um, some people, there are people that have never seen a chicken before. Um, it's just where they live. It's part of their culture. It's they buy it from the store, it comes to them in a prepackaged thing. And some of those people look at me and go, ugh, you, you do it yourself? Ew, well, somebody has to do it. So <laughs> that's kind of where I'm coming from. Somebody has to do it. And I would prefer it be me because then I know my animals are being well taken care of. So that's where I've come to the conclusion that I'm gonna do this myself. Preparing myself for the endeavor is something else entirely. Mentally, I, if I'm going to do a large batch, today I'm planning on doing two Muscovies and two, maybe three of my adult breeders that actually have names for rabbits. And that's hard. Um, I do like them, but that's what it is. I, they were raised for food. In my mind, they are, that's their destiny. Um, and I will respect them and I will do it with caution and I will do it with care and they will get a treat before that sort of thing. It's part of what it is. And if you don't agree, please turn off this video. Ha. Um, so how do I prepare mentally? 
first and foremost, a uniform. Not necessarily the same thing every time, but I've got my rubber boots, uh, my garden shoes on. I've got my overalls on, and these are my garden work overalls. These are extremely comfortable. They have lots of pockets and the shoulders are elastic. So if it pulls, like if I get like a foot or something caught um, as I'm, you know, carrying an animal or doing something, it's not going to rip. It's not going to tear. I almost always, if I um, do butchering with a rabbit and I'm pulling them in and they're, they decide they're going to panic at the last second, kind of sometimes happens, you might get a nail caught in a shirt and I've lost tons of shirts that way. It's actually one of these shirts is underneath this. Um, it has a big hole right in the chest, but now I don't have to worry about it. Um, and then I will also get my gloves out, um, especially for the Muscovy. I have a tendency, um, my husband told me today, make sure you wear your gloves. Um, I have a tendency of pulling the rabbits out and then getting hurt in the process, cutting my hands or them biting me. I barely, rarely get bit, um, but the occasional ones do. So this here helps being prepared for it mentally. Also, I like to put music on. I like to put something on a little bit fast beat. I don't want to listen to sad music. <laughs> no Enya, <laughs> you know, that sort of stuff. Um, when I'm doing this, uh, a lot of times I'll listen to, well, there's rap going by right now. I don't know, but not my music. Um, I, I listen to a lot of jazz. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter, but music helps. So if you put headphones on just to get it going, that helps too. Um, start gathering your tools, have your idea in mind before you get your rabbits or your ducks or what have you of how you're going to cull them. Know the process before you get them, if you can. Major, major tip there is know you can how to do it before you get them. So when you look at the animal, you can think, this is how I'm gonna do this. And it can change. Don't, don't be scared to get an animal thinking, oh, I'm gonna, like, for example, if you have a rabbit, and you, before you got rabbits, you go, okay, I'm gonna use the broomstick method. And you go, okay. But as you're raising up those animals and you've gotten to the point where you're like, no, you know what? I don't wanna use the broomstick method because I saw this video. Say you saw my video and you go, I actually want a ballista um, uh, bolt gun or I want a hopper popper and I wanna try and do it that way. I don't think I, after seeing Sarah say she's not comfortable with it because uh, urban. Or, you know, or you just say you got a ballista and you're like, no, I want to, I want to do broomstick method or I want to do choke chain or what have you. Just, there's, just, everybody's going to have different beliefs on what the best methods are. And I'm not debating that right now, we're here. Oh, having a book, watching a video, doing a refresher on other people butchering the same animal. It's very useful. Um, put yourself in the mind frame, watch it being done a few times. So one of the reasons I love YouTube is you can pause it, you can come back to it. I tell people this at work all the time. Go onto YouTube, watch what you're gonna do, rewind it, watch it again, and then you should be more comfortable with it. Same thing works with butchering animals. Um, learn the process. Understand what you're going to do. Uh, if you don't have the tools and you don't know what you're going to do, you're probably not going to butcher a rabbit or a duck or a sheep or whatever you're going to do. You're probably not going to do it if you don't know how, don't have the tools, and you've got a really cute little animal sitting there looking at you. It's just going to happen. Um, I made a video on just butchering rabbits. Um, so if you need to watch that, you can completely do that. Um, I might eventually do one on Muscovy. Probably not going to get into that today because this is my first time doing it. And I prefer teaching things that I actually know what I'm doing. But I might throw some pictures in here from this point forward in this video. So if you are here and you don't want to see stuff, you may want to turn this video off. If you've decided that this isn't for you, you're not going to do it. 
turn it off. If you want to go forward, go ahead. So, with that in mind, you've got your uniform, you've got your mentality, you know what you're going to do. Start the process. Um, have your tools ready. Have a place to do it. And then do it. It's hard. And you'll never completely get used to it. Then there's always going to be that one time that something goes wrong. Um, I had one time where a rabbit turned its head at the last second as I'm using the bolt gun. And, whew, yeah, it, not, not fun. And it's, you're, everybody's going to have those. There's no perfect way to do this. Um, I'm sorry that that's the case. I wish it wasn't the case. I wish there was a complete perfect way to do this. So, and as I always have to say in these videos, whenever I talk about butchering or anything like that, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian and you don't believe in the idea of eating meat, we don't agree. That's okay. If you can get away with it because your genetic profile allows you to be vegan without causing you physical issues, great. Do it. Be one. And until a time when factory farming and all of those things are in our past, please don't give me any grief for eating meat and doing my consuming of meat in a ethical and humane fashion. Once factory farms are gone, we can all have a discussion about it. Um, but I have a feeling that's not going to be the case in my lifetime, possibly and probably not in my son's lifetime. So until then though, until then, let's go ahead and uh, put a pause on that conversation and let's be friends and accept that we both want what's best for the animals. We just disagree on the end result. So besides that, and if you're just one of those people that's just like, no, I can't do this. That's okay. That's okay. There's always going to be, be a gardener, grow fruit, grow whatever. Just remember those things are living too. I, everything's living in my mind. We consume, we live, we don't consume, we die. Death is part of life. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you are happy, healthy, and if not, I hope you are on a path to being so. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you guys give a like or subscribe if you found this content useful, and I will yak at you later.